That was a definite. That. Go Dazzlers, we are back here with me and Sohaila. Tell them why you're excited. We're ghost hunting again. We're ghost hunting again. Messing we're here. with the afterlife again. Yes, we're messing up whilst we're waiting for our train. We're, we're, we're having drinks. Champagne. Why, why the hell not? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Have a bit of a kick to it. <laughs> we're going to a place called Tapton Hall, which is uh, where people go to like get married and stuff. And there's been a lot of like ghostly um, presences in the house, but um, let's uh, now cut away, Daz, to editing the information about this place whilst we travel up there. It's a four-hour journey, and uh, we're ready. <laughs> this is Tupton Hall. Built in the late 18th century, it is steeped in history and paranormal. Regular visitors included Florence Nightingale, who often come to the house to see Great Mary Shaw. For three centuries, this 300-year-old mansion has lived in the heart of Sheffield's landscape. Its deep history has seen it serve as a home to great names. It is also home to three Mason temples where members of the Masons would meet and have secret meetings which we're not even allowed to film in. And it is by far the biggest location that I've ever had the privilege of doing a ghost hunt in. So nowadays this place is used for um, a lot of weddings and there's also three Mason temples in this building. We're not actually allowed to film in them um, because it's shrouded in secrecy but I have been inside of them and it's like something out of a conspiracy film like Illuminati or something and there's symbols and traits of that everywhere in this building. It's so scary. Ghostly apparitions have appeared on staircases. Items have been seen to actually move and I've been told that most of the activity happens in the oldest parts of the mansion. Since the site has seen much modern renovation I decided to go into the older parts of Tapton Hall to see what I could uncover. So apparently guys I've been told that these paintings here of uh, these two handsome people um, Emily Kingsford Wilson, Emily Wilson, 1827 to 1904. George Wilson, 1802, 1878. This, these, these two people on the wall, this was their room. So we could try and channel their spirits, but um, hopefully not to be too jumpy. <laughs> we have a um, Ouija table here, or tipping table as it's called. We'll be doing some stuff in this room later on, see if we can channel old Emily up there on the wall. Despite me being a skeptic, Tapton Hall was eerie and it always felt like someone was following you. So I'm looking into a really big hall right now and I'm not allowed to film, it's a temple. And I wish you could see what I'm seeing. There are pentagrams on the ceiling and there are big tall chairs with candles and symbols in front of each tall chair. It almost looks like the House of Commons, like rows of seating, but then there's big seats for what I can imagine to be like important people. It's very Illuminati, it's very conspiracy, but because it's their temple, no one is allowed to film in here. But I wish, I wish you could see um, what I'm seeing. Whilst investigating some of the temples that I wasn't allowed to film in, unfortunately, I noticed something. So one thing about this building that I've noticed, and it's kind of creepy, but even on, on furniture, this symbol is everywhere. Let me show you. See this symbol here? It's on all of the furniture. It's embedded into so many parts of this building. I can only imagine it's meant to be um, related to the Masons. I think this actually might be a good room to see if I could capture anything or hear anything. Let's, let's do a test. If I sit in one of these chairs, if there's anybody here and communicate with me. If there's anybody here who wishes to communicate, can you come forward, make a sound? Emily, are you here?
Emily? Are you here with us? Okay. I decided I was going to move room to room trying these techniques. On the way, I discovered more of the building's creepy designs. It's a part of the features in this building that makes it more creepy and, like I say, Illuminati. You've got features like this above the door. It, it looks like an eye just staring at you. That's kind of creepy. Everywhere you go in this building, it's like you're being followed. You just feel like there's something watching all like over you. It's just a creepy atmosphere. And you know me guys, I don't believe in ghosts, but it is creepy here. I've got to admit, I've been in lots of buildings like this and I just couldn't care, but this is creepy. I was already getting spooked, but my tour was far from over yet. I had much more of the building to see. So this is like the boardroom. Apparently it also used to be another bedroom in the uh, 19th century. Try in here and see what we get. <laughs> is there anybody in this room that wishes to communicate with me? What the f*** was that? It was my girlfriend. She knocked on the sodding window. Look at her. I swear to God, I'm gonna... I'm gonna murder you. You are dead. <laughs> you are dead. I just jumped out of my fucking skin. No, I, know. <laughs> I said, is anyone there? And then you knocked on the sodden window. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you deserve, <laughs> you deserve that. That's, you see, that's karma. That's karma. You too. <laughs> I still have not forgiven her, but all the fun and games would come to an end, however, as I went upstairs and decided to take the investigation into another room. Is there anybody in here? F*** that. F*** that. <sighs> There's no one in here. It's not my girlfriend this time. I'm actually now... I'm up on the second floor. That was a definite... Definite tap. I didn't notice it at the time when I was filming. Firstly, there was a loud bang that I don't remember hearing. That was a definite... Immediately after the bang, you can see something even weirder. A dark patch moving across my right side of my face. What was this? Here it is in normal speed. That was a definite... Definite tap. Was the mark moving across my face some sort of shadow? Or was it the ghost trying to reach out and contact me? Or maybe even touch my own face? There's anybody there who wishes to communicate? Can you make a noise for me? Are you by the mirror? Can you let me know if you're by the mirror? It was a definite like from over there. It just sounded not like a creak or a crack and this isn't one of those creaky places. All the floors are like really hard and stern. They've all got carpet on them like it's that was a quite a loud noise from in that corner. I'm not sure how much this microphone on the camera will pick it up but it was enough to make me look over my shoulder. Okay um so so is here now. Um oh so hello. I, I just showed you that like... footage. Oh you look beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Um, can you go stand by the mirror? And because that's where I seem to be getting a lot of sounds coming from. Yeah. Okay. What do you, what do you feel from this room? Because the sound came right by that mirror. It was a massive bang. Like not just heating warm, like it's. Yeah, this is probably the warmest room. It is. Like a tap? Maybe give us a tap. There's nothing to be afraid of. You know, I'm very friendly. I'm very open. She is quite friendly. I am. <laughs> okay, so we're in uh, one of the party halls right now. Um, I'm standing still. I'm making sure that anything that comes... If there's anyone here, can you try and communicate with us? Maybe show yourself? Maybe make a noise?
Ooh. Ooh. Mm, there might be people moving around downstairs. Hmm. I'm not getting anything. Maybe not. It doesn't actually feel spooky in the dark, this not room. Here. Like earlier when I came in, it felt really bad. I mean, All these orbs, like that's creepy. <laughs> like, we're very friendly people. We're not. We are. <laughs> Is anybody in here? Can you try and make a sound? Maybe tap one of the tables that are in here. Oh. That came from behind me. That was that table over there. That was loud, and it was that, it was that, that corner. That was on the table. That wasn't... Yeah, that was like. Is it? It's hard to determine no, what's. No, the, the rest of it's heating. You know, sort of like. Yeah, there's a lot of noises it, coming from that heaters and the pipes. That, that one was specifically on this table over here. I could hear it. Okay, so. Can you try tapping on the table again now that we're here? I mean, come on. What was that? Is that the pipes? No, because you can hear the pipes. What is that? That's a table there. As I say, I just knew it came from this direction. I was guessing. I didn't even see that over there. But um, um, were you somebody that lived here? And if so, please give a tap. It's every time you ask. Yeah. Let me try and... Is there anything behind there, like pipes or anything? I think this here, there's pipes in here. Maybe. My, I think it's coming from these things. I think it's just creaking and cracking. Like, I don't think they're actual taps. I don't know. If you know what I mean. Like, it's more of a distinct sound. Let's try the next room. Yeah. I have to sit like this. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I wait. bet that's haunting. Look at the shadow on the back wall, that's crazy. Oh, is that creepy? Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe make a noise to let us know you're here. I've taken my arms off the table, so... Maybe even just like a tap or something, just to let us know that you're here. I feel like um, we've been filming maybe for a couple of hours now. We're hoping to catch some, maybe some lights or something. Yeah. Some orbs. That'd be pretty cool. But it's early days yet. And I'm gonna save some battery. Okay, so I'm currently in one of the temples. You're currently? Oh, and so Hannah's here as well. That made Thank me jump. <laughs> We're currently in one of the temples and I'm not allowed to film anything else. So I can't film any of this room, guys, uh, what's in front of me, but there are uh, three chairs, almost like thrones, and this Sahada... This was meant for, like, a judge, because there's a gavel in front of me that I Yeah, it's like a judge sort of chair. It's very... I don't know what meetings took place in this room, but it's very Illuminati. Can you tap something or move something? Let us know that you're here. Yeah, I thought it was more over there at that chair. Just tap once for us. Oh my god. Okay. So if there's... That was grim. Uh -huh. Like, that, that was grim. We decided to move on, and later on in the night did a vigil. While shooting the vigil and getting some backup footage, I noticed a strange light. I haven't much. Um, I've had no activity on this whole map. If you look in the middle of the screen, a strange beam of light seems to shoot across it. We double checked this, and it wasn't from a reflection of a phone or any other device. Could this be a ghost trying to reach through to us? After the vigil and capturing what can only be described as an orb, we went downstairs and decided to set up a vigil of our own. And the results shocked us. Stick in the middle? It's a chapstick. Well, in the 1920s, did they have chapsticks? No, but it makes your lips oh, soft. <laughs> if I lay this 
object down. Maybe can you try and move? Can you move it for us? Ooh. Oh, off. No. You're not even lifting no, it. No, no, no. Well, that's something. After placing the chapstick in the center of the table, it moved on its own. Sohaila was not moving the table or blowing it. There was no interference from me or Sohaila. This really challenged my belief as I could not figure out why this would roll away to yes on the board. Hmm. Interesting. Very. Actually, a bit now. <laughs> We decided to call it a night. Tupton Hall gave us many surprises. Is it evidence of ghosts? Perhaps not. But it definitely made me believe it slightly more than I did before I arrived. It's an eerie feeling and steeped in history made it an absolute adventure to go ghost hunting in. And it's a moment that I won't forget anytime soon.